Hey guys, welcome to another SD Gaming video and we're gonna take a look at another game and this time the game is called Switchblade, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1989. And this is a game that many people seem to like. Now personally, I remember playing it and I was not impressed. Now I don't really specifically remember why. I do remember I liked the graphics and I played it for a bit but nah, just couldn't get into it for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, maybe I can reevaluate the game now. And maybe I end up liking it better today, who knows? The game is made almost entirely by Simon Phipps who did both the coding, the graphics, the game design and the sound effects. And you can actually see some of the concept art he made for the game on screen right now. The one thing he didn't do, however, was the music, which is done by Ben Daglish. I hope I pronounced his name correctly there, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let's dive into the game instead. Ah, here we are. Core Design. Yeah, this game is developed by Core Design, so I presume that Simon Phipps was part of the uh, that development team. And here's the, the music. I don't really remember the music that much, but it sounds uh, very nice. Yeah, it's got that Daglish sound to it. So we can switch between music or effects. So let's just go with effects, I think. I'm curious about the sound effects. For 10,000 years he slept. Now he is awakened. Whoever that is. The bad guy, I presume. We've got some uh, bit of a slideshow intro. That looks really nice. I remember liking this. Oh, I am Hero, the last of the something something. Let's rock. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah, I missed most of that intro. Hope you don't care too much about the story. <laughs> I don't. And uh, yeah, we can punch stuff. That's always good. And presume. Oh shit. Oh, I think maybe I can't go that way. <laughs> Let's not go that way. Let's go back. I really don't remember much about this game at all. I mean, let's see if we can punch the, can I punch it? I did read the manual ooh, uh, for the game. I don't remember everything I read. It wasn't really that uh, in depth, but I think we're supposed to collect something, that sword I'm guessing. And we've got various moves. Let's see if we can power up. If we hold a fire button, we can, <laughs> yeah deliver a power kick instead of a punch or whatever that is yeah i don't know if you can get other weapons i sh i did read the manual as i said but yeah sorry i'm a bit oh shit i'm a bit uh pressed for time right now so i read it and then i didn't have time to record ah oh, shit so uh, i kind of forgot <laughs> what it said sorry about that now, I don't remember there being so much um, stuff to do on the on the surface here. We're supposed to go underground, right? If I remember correctly. Let's see if we can punish this fella. Oh, we can actually move while the power meter is uh, filled up. That is pretty useful. Didn't know that. Thought you had to stand still. Cool. Oh, yeah, that was not a lift. I <laughs> Stupid uh, hole in the ground. Uh, I thought that was actually a lift. <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it was broken. I don't know. Now, the one thing I remember about this game is that you've got this kind of reveal as you move from one area into the other. That's... Oh, shit. God damn you, <laughs> you silly thing. Uh, okay, maybe I have to do power. Power kick here. I think I've only got one life, so I'm probably going to die pretty soon. Damn. <laughs> yeah, again, as I said, I do remember this kind of cool feature that there's parts of the screen that get revealed as you move into rooms. That's pretty cool. And you've got power-ups. That much I remember from the manual all of a sudden. So, and there's supposed to be secrets here as well, I think. Now, where did that ugly snake face go? I th yeah, he's actually kind of st always standing below me. How very sneaky of him. Well, you know... You're just going to be a douchebag, right? You're just going to stand here. You are a douche. Truly you are. Let's just see if we can go over here. No, why are you... Mm, God damn it. Please, no. Damn. <laughs> Punch you, I will. Pretty nice sound effects. This guy can take quite the beating, I must admit. 
Now, as I think I've said or mentioned, there's supposed to be secrets here, so I might keep an eye out for... Yeah, however we... Oh, God. However we, we find secrets here. And we have three lives, I think, or maybe even four. Yeah, take it. Take it! Maybe we can punch walls. I really do not know. But this game does look really nice. And I mean, oh, shit. It's kind of... Fun, I suppose. Haven't played too much of it yet, but what I don't like, I can say straight off the bat, is how enemies just spawn in out of nowhere. I've always, always hated that <laughs> in games. Um, can I pick this up or am I supposed to punch it? I don't know. I really don't know what that is. Maybe it's just decoration? We can't punch it, we can't kick it, so let's just ignore it. Ah, here we have a secret. That's cool. Can I? Oh, cool. Ah, it wasn't really a secret, was it? <laughs> I thought this was a ladder, but that was just a, you know, scaffold or whatever it's called. Too bad. I think those two blocks looked slightly different, so... Uh, eh, let's keep an eye out for blocks that looks slightly different. I like secrets in games. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like <laughs> when enemies just spawn in. It doesn't matter if it's like a first-person shooter or whatever. I hate it. I just hate it. <laughs> I'm not even sure why. I always felt that it it's a bit cheap. Oh, and that. I hate that too. <laughs> Can I? Oh, son of a... All right. No! God! <laughs> go away, you snake-faced, two-faced bastard! Why can you teleport and I can't? Oh, God! I don't like that! I really... I think this is why I didn't like the game back in the day. The way that the enemy just will appear out of nowhere. And I do not remember what the manual said about... Um, the power-ups, I'm not sure what they do. Can I get up here? I don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can indeed. Can I get up there? I think I can, but I can't really... Oh, there was something there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, there seems to be lots of secrets. That is something I do like, so, yeah, I approve. Oh, yeah, what's that thing? Let me guess. It's going to fall down and kill me? No? Huh. Strange. Doesn't do anything. That thing in, on the roof there. Can I maybe... Oh, thank you. I like diamonds. That's the one thing I have no problem with, just spawning in out of nowhere. Monies and, and uh, you know, <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> that is fine. Enemies? Not so much. Oh, cool. Uh, I was thinking maybe this was a weapon. Maybe that's just part of that sword I'm supposed to be getting. Because I don't remember how I swap weapons, if I even can swap weapons. Uh, maybe I can't. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, um... It's not bad. I'm kind of liking this. I think I like it better now than, than back in the day. So, uh, yeah. Graphics are really, really nice, I must say. Ah, oh, shite! <laughs> you cheap bastards! I don't like you. I wonder if I found these secrets back in the day. Probably not. And again, these funky-looking things on the ground. I have no clue what they are. Can you? Oh, I can't. Can't get past that box. Can I get up? No, I can't. Can I? Oh, shit. Oh, there was something there and I can fire now. That's that's interesting. Yep, take it to the face. Oh, I only got a certain amount of bullets or whatever that is. Eh, that's a shame. Okay, let's go down here instead. And we have a randomly spawning asshole. Oh, I landed on top of him. That's not good. 
What was that? Something fell down. Let's go and find it. Ah, maybe, maybe I missed that. Not sure. And then I can't get back up. That is a little bit annoying, but hey. And now I'm out of projectiles. That's a shame. I really can't remember. Oh, shite. Oh, God. You're making me into a sandwich filler. Don't like that. I really can't remember um, specifically if I really found many secrets in this game or even found the weapon that I just had, the projectile. I might have just done a pretty piss poor job of playing this game. <laughs> Maybe just disliking it fairly immediately and then just ignoring it. I was kind of, you know, finicky like that back in the day. I was a picky bastard. And of course, I did get hold of a fair amount of pirated stuff, so you could kind of just. Oh, God damn it. Uh, just kind of ignore a game if you didn't like it. Now, what is this? Is this going to hurt me? Put down your bets. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> it's just decoration. All right, fair enough. Ah, oh, here we are. Lots of friendly people here. I don't remember what these guys are supposed to be. I, I remember seeing the concept art for these guys. And they look like something, and I don't remember what. Can you fall down, sir? Maybe? No, you can't. You're just going to be an ass hat, right? And I oh, I can punch him in the, in the snaky part. I hope that isn't what I think it is. I hope that's supposed to be your legs, right? And you. It's a bit hard timing stuff <laughs> when I can't see myself, but hey, it seems to work anyway, so... Is that a rope? Nah. Probably not, right? So you can get up here and maybe... Oh, damn. Can I fall down there? Nope. Or maybe if I... Let's, let's just see. Let me just jump. Nope. I can't grab that. There's no need for that rope, of course. But it kind of looked like a rope, so I had to try. Oh, God damn you. You're a bunch of cheapskates. Oh, and I missed the power-up thing. That... Thanks to you guys. No, don't push me into the next room. Ah, but I do get... Oh, nice. Nice try, mister. Okay, that doesn't work, so let's do this instead. Can I break this block? I think I can. So how do I kill this guy? I'm not sure. Maybe if I just exit and come back, he's going to respawn, right? Oh, you you little bastard. He's so fast. I do like, however, that the enemies don't really... I mean... Uh, they do give you some time. Even when they're standing next to you, they won't attack you immediately. I like that, because I hate being unable to punch the little bastards. Can I break this? I can. But now I can't get back, of course. But yeah, I can always go the other way. So let's just go over here. Yes, you thought I'd missed that, didn't you? <laughs> but no, I saw that there was a passageway here. <laughs> I'm not completely useless. Now this is a bit of a dick move this guy is doing here. But then he just moves out of the way. That's awfully nice. I appreciate it. And I don't, I'm not actually losing any health there doing this. I really do like that. So maybe I was a little bit hard on the game back in the day. And I've got a projectile that is excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this, I have to say. This is not bad at all. This is good stuff. And why did I fall down here? That was maybe dumb. But yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to be able to get back up somehow. Oh, you bastard. Get No, you asshole. You absolute asshole! Oh, there's a whole bunch of these guys. Yeah. Is that... Is that sound effect like... of a car tire screeching? <laughs> it sounds a bit like it. <laughs> and look at that R oh, taunting me up there, that is... Ah, no, I don't think I can grab it. Let's go the... this way. Oh, shit. No, no. No, no. Ah, get away. Get Oh, I missed my power up, you filthy knight. That is a little bit annoying that the uh, <laughs> the power ups actually disappear. 
after a bit. But at least I get an R, which I think will grant me an extra life eventually if I can find the rest of the letters, which is uh, probably quite unlikely in this playthrough. No, get, 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 you filthy thing. Ah, oh, what are you, are you humping my neck? All right, snake bastards, come here. Okay, let's break this stuff. No, don't, don't go down. Controls are really rather nice, I have to say. Feels pretty damn tight. Ah, it's just points. I don't care about points. I want power-ups. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just back here. But there is, of course, breakable blocks here, so... Uh, still mostly points, I think. All right, so we are... Oh, shit. We are back to where I kind of... Where I turned back, if you know what I mean. Yeah, just have to punch these guys a million times. Yeah, just please cease to be. How about if you come down here? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna punch you in the toe. That seems very effective. Can I just hold down the button and get like a high kick? Thank you. The controls are pretty damn solid, I have to admit. I'm liking it. Oh, there's a, an entrance there. Interesting. No, 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 no. Please don't. <laughs> I do like the sound effects as well. They're very nice. Let me just check what's going on up here. This is just another passageway, yeah? Yeah, this... Gimme, 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 gimme! Thank you. No one's going to spawn. Interesting. I expected someone to. Just... Okay, there he is. But I was just want to check what's over here. I think this is just... Yeah, this is just where I came from. So never mind. Let me just rectify your life situation here. Right. Okay. Nothing over there. Just where I came from. I think we can punch these, right? Yeah, that's probably just points. Who cares? <laughs> oh, there's some good stuff, I think. Some sort of power-up, I think. And we are... No, hang on. I thought I was being there before, but I don't think I have. But I think I can say with certain amount of certainty <laughs> that I don't think I got this far back in the day. I don't at all remember this. I was probably given up on the game, or, or probably gave up on the game fairly quickly. Oops. Okay, take that. Oh, Jesus. I wonder what that thing is. Is that a tick or something? Disgusting, filthy ticks. I hate ticks. If there's one thing I would like to see on the uh, WWF's list of endangered species, it's ticks. I really, really hate the disgusting things so much. I cannot even describe it. And they love me. They just love biting me. The moment I get anywhere near a forest, every flipping tick in the entire forest just comes running. I can actually hear them. And screaming with joy. Oh, there he is! That's breakfast! Bastards. Hate them. All right. Oh, I've got a projectile thing. That's nice. And... No, we can't break that. So let's just get back up here and go right. Ooh. That's the mega tick. You filthy, filthy thing. Let's see if we can... No, get, get... Oh, God damn it. Let's see if we can just tell him who's boss. Well, the boss is not me, that's for sure. Damn. Well, I gotta say, I quite like this. Really rather nice. And I'm up to about 20 minutes of gameplay, so I think I'm going to end it here. But yeah, this was really, really fun. I kind of regret not giving this a chance back in the day. So anyway, let's have a look at what some other people thought of the game before we end.
As the action gave it an overall rating of 79% and also awarded it with an STA1. And they write, The moment I started playing Switchblade I knew it was going to be good. The programmers, or well, rather THE programmer, core design have come up with another hit after their previous smash, Rick Dangerous. And I have to say this is just vastly better than Rick Dangerous. I really did not like Rick Dangerous back in the day. <laughs> I just didn't. Too much random stuff going on. I mean, fair enough, you could learn it and know where each of the enemies would pop up, but no, I did not like it. And they end with, there's only one thing I can say about this game. Brilliant. The one was also quite impressed with the game and gave it an overall of 88%. And they write, Switchblade is a first-class slice of computer gaming, succeeding for exactly the same reasons as Simon Phipps' last masterpiece, Rick Dangerous. And they end the review with, Anyone harking for a slice of action reminiscent of classic arcade and console games of days gone is in for a treat. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna have to agree with these reviews. It was really rather a very nice game. Shame I didn't get into it back in the day. Well, it's not really too late, is it? I can still play it today. So guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!